Are you in landscaping? Or maybe you're a DIYer just like me. Are you actually doing some landscaping work at your house? Maybe you wanna zero-scape your front yard because you are absolutely sick and tired of paying hundreds of dollars per month in water bills. Maybe you're building a brand new backyard because you just bought a brand new house. Well, whatever it is, I'm here to show you how Pix4D React is a phenomenal tool to create a base map and actually measure how much aggregate you're going to need. So let me pull up a quick little map here that you can see. We've got a brand new area, a brand new site, no backyard as you can see with some of these houses. And as you can see, it's not the most accurate orthomosaic generation possible, but it is still fairly good. Now, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I have actually measured out where I wanna put some river rock, I've measured out where I wanna put some larger rock. Whenever you're ordering aggregates, you have options like a three quarter inch rock, one to two inch rock, three to four inch rock, etc. And what I needed to do was figure out exactly how much material to order. I can tell you that I've already used this actually about two years ago. I already ordered everything and I only was off by one cubic yard. I, I ended up ordering a little bit more rock just because I had some slopes that weren't accounted for. But for example, we can see in these purple areas here that this is like where I need to lay out the actual rock itself, the larger river rock that's gonna surround this grassy knoll that exists today. And so if I actually, I've already measured these utilizing the area tool. And again, if I wanna measure out how much grass that I'm going to need, all I need to do is go ahead and left click around this blue area, which is gonna be a new deck. And then once we go here, click that check mark. And we are gonna save this as a marker and we're gonna call it, ooh, well, grass won't be yellow all year long, but yellow grass area. This way we know how much seed and compost we need to buy based off of that. So what I can do is click export, PDF. I wanna include markers, because those markers are gonna help me do my measurements. So we're gonna call this landscape measurements, okay? Okay, so let's look at landscape measurements. Can pull that up. We've got the map here, our ground sampling distance. We've got all of our measurements. And then here, what I would do is I'm just gonna take these areas, so 320 square feet, 260 square feet, and then 329 square feet. And that will be the total square footage for the larger rock that I need to actually measure. So if I open up calculator, and then we're gonna take, what is that? 260 plus 320 plus 329. That's 909 square feet. Now notice that I actually marked the surrounding area in the same color. That way I can make it easier to actually make these measurements as a whole. If I was smart, this area for the dog run space, I should have made this red and this blue area the same. So what I have to say though is I did this actually two years ago and I can't begin to explain to you just how accurate it was. So here is the finished um, area. You can see that I've got the large rock that goes all the way around. Yes, I did some funky shapes to make it look more organic. I've also got my rock here for the dog run, my whole grassy area, and then you can see the deck right in the center. So I actually use this to order all of my materials from the local landscape supply company. And yeah, you can go out there and measure it, but it takes a whole lot more time. This mapping mission took me three minutes to fly, took me two minutes to process, and about 10 minutes to gather all of my measurements. So astronomically faster and way more fun to gather your landscape measurements. To fly this mission, you would simply run a single grid with any drone that has autonomous mapping software. You're gonna run your camera at Nader. You're gonna have a side lap of 75 and a front lap of 80, and then just import the data right into Pix4D React, run the data, and then just go ahead and make your annotations and gather your measurements. It really is that simple. If you wanna learn the more step-by-step -step process of doing this, you can check out our desktop processing class, or you can learn how to do it with cloud-based software if you don't like Windows machines like me. I know it sucks.
With cloud-based software like SiteScan, you can run these same measurements just as easy, as effective, and as simple. If you want to learn from people who have experience in drone mapping, then check out thedroneu.com, and I'll see you there.